One in five Americans will develop skin cancer by age 70. You would think it would be easy to detect skin cancer. What are some of the challenges in detecting skin cancer, Miriam? As a patient, I, must spot, uh, I may spot the pain and say, oh, this spot, the smallest uh, bleeding, it's itchy, it's suspicious. But I will go and see my family doctor, um, a GP who had not necessarily um, had training for finding cancer. So, I will end up waiting for a specialist to see me. And if it is cancer, it's growing, it's not waiting. So the problem is that we have so many false positives before we detect the melanoma, right? Plus, of course, the wait time to be able to see the specialist who is trained, who knows uh, basically what he or she is looking at. And then even there, they still need to biopsy it. The pathology lab will say if this is cancer or not. So when you look at it, it's easy to spot but it's not easy to diagnose and confirm if it was cancer until the pathology lab can look at the specimen and say, what is it? And that's what you're doing at Meta Optima. How exactly does the Meta Optima platform work? Our platform called Derm Engine is designed to bring intelligence to solve this big problem in dermatology. And it starts from uh, helping our doctors to be better at documentation, communication, and analytics, also providing a better access to care for patients who need it. So our doctors can say, from my historical data, I think this could be this. And it's not just guessing what it could be, it's really like looking at the uh, statistics to say there's a high chance that this could be melanoma, we should take action. How are you using artificial intelligence to help detect skin cancer earlier? The use of AI is in dermatology is really like simply learning from historical data in terms of pattern matching. It's like fingerprint analysis, right? The system can tell similar cases to your case, 75% of them were melanoma. So we, won't, we will make sure our doctors won't miss those important cases by learning from the historical data. We have the collective knowledge of thousands of doctors and millions of patients to serve my patient in front of me. And these algorithms in the best scenario are used as intelligent assistants for our doctors. These can help as an intelligent assistant now that our doctors using the system can serve thousands of patients, not just only 20 patients a day. How are you making it easy to integrate healthcare records from multiple providers into your platform? This was the core of the system from the beginning because our vision was not only learn from images and labels like compared to typical machine learning uh, problems that you have data, you have label, the machine will learn and the machine basically will repeat this for new cases. In our case, we wanna learn from the real outcome. What happened to the patient? so that we can learn how the system is going to serve new cases with a better knowledge. Now the system has to serve so many stakeholders in the patient journey, all the way from primary care doctors, GPs, to the specialists, to the pathologists, surgeons, and oncologists. We invested a lot in building integration with current EMR systems, EHR systems, practice management systems, so that our doctors will have an easier job to use the platform. So it integrates already, it copies the report to the EMR system, it reads the data from the EMR system. So this is helping them. And they usually don't like um, software and electronic medical records because doctors are busy and they say this is taking our time, but they like our system because we are helping even with their own workflow. We are making it much easier for them by this connectivity. We're in Silicon Valley. How does being here help tap into a global network of healthcare professionals and investors? We are building a technology, a product that is gonna serve millions of patients. So those are the best practices that we have seen many VCs here, many partners, many advisors who have done this before. So absolutely it's important to have the right uh, partner, the right investor, who also believes in this big vision of changing the world, changing the way we are dealing with these problems, not just having a single app, which is gonna stay small forever. So for us, that was really important to make sure we have like-minded investors and advisors and partners who join the family, the company, to take it to the next level. So we're excited for the opportunities that we've had here.